but uh, yeah, you know, we had to go quickly because we were actually on the radio. We were live already, you know. So, so we're live right now. You know, That's an awesome thing. Yeah, yes. And and Adam, we do want to welcome you back. I mean, I, I don't expect you to remember you were on with us a couple of weeks We're ago. Hampshire, baby. Uh, there you go, Dartmouth College. Look at you. You do remember. How the hell are you, man? I'm awesome. And I'm not as awesome because I have not been to Black Trumpet in a while. Uh-huh. And that is that's 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 still one of the greatest restaurants ever. So shout out to my peeps in Portsmouth, and of course Jumpin' Jay's Fish Cafe. Well, of course, uh, you know Adam. You know, last time you were on here, you were talking about uh, the show on NBC. Now, of course, uh, Food Fighters, which you know has uh, ha- has been pretty successful, and you're here to talk about it again now. Now, very briefly, Adam, people who missed it, who haven't seen the show yet, give us a quick little background. What is Food Fighters all about? Simply put, a home cook. Anyone, moms, dads, grandpas, we have a retired vet, college, whatever, like college professors, so on and so forth, Um, literally teachers, retirees, you name it. Home cooks take their five best recipes, pass down from generation to generation, and go head-to-head with five of the best professional chefs working today. And they have a chance as they beat each chef. They go against all five, and if they defeat all five, they win $100,000 with just... A simple chocolate chip cookie. I, uh, yeah, I, taste test. Yeah, I was going to say, it could be something as simple as, you know, you know Franks and Beans or something like that. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know. It's... Absolutely. Oh, my God. One of the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life yep. was made by this uh, Sergeant John Coombs, who was a, a contestant. And um, he used, um, am I allowed to say Cheez-Its? Can I say Cheez-Its? Sure. Say Why not? Crackers. Yep. I, well, I've said it now, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, too, he, too late. He those into the mac and cheese, and it's awesome. Very cool. And uh, again, Food Fighters, of course, you can check that out tonight, as a matter of fact, 8 till 9 p.m. on NBC. How's it been so far? I mean, you know, you've hosted this now for a few weeks. And, uh, you know, as opposed to some of the other shows, of course, everybody knows you from Man vs. Food. How's this? How's hosting this show been? I mean, it's been <laughs> significantly less five-pound burritos than you might think. Okay, um, yep, yep. Which is- it's always an occupational hazard when you change from man versus food, but uh, it's been great because, you know, man versus food was about me, me going to these restaurants and me doing the challenge and a chance to watch, like, someone that's someone's mom and seeing their kids and their husband and their mom and dad or whatever uh, right in the audience mm-hmm. and see them getting recognized as the hero, as the center of attention, and not for popularity and not because of an eating challenge or anything, but because Mima, who taught the chocolate chip cookie to the mom, is now serving it to her kids. And, and then there's a blind taste test. So to know that it's a legitimate thing, five ordinary Americans, no connection at all, they get the dishes, don't know it's a pro versus an amateur, don't know whose is whose, and they vote. And seeing someone's mom or grandma getting celebrated as a culinary champion is the coolest thing in the world. Now, of course, earlier, uh, you know, when the show started, we we, we saw a list of some of the people. And there was, I don't want to give too much away, but there was uh, was a woman on from New Hampshire. Do you remember who we're talking about? Oh, yes. And an awesome one. And and, and how, uh, I mean, uh, again, you can't give too much. How how was she doing? Is is she still around, uh, you know, for people who haven't seen the show? Well, so you go against all five of them. <laughs> right, okay. No matter what. No, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like, like pad my answer. No, 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 I'm that's fine. I'm just saying that, that that's the thing, is that you face all five, so it's not like you go out because what's cool is, you know, the, some chefs were so adept at this type of, like, you, you have to understand it's also strategy. Mm-hmm. The home cook tries to choose the dish that's in the chef's blind spot. Sure. So if they, she finds out right before who she's facing. She finds that it's a seafood chef. She's not going to do her salmon, but she may do her chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and you're watching, like, Kat Cora, Duff Goldman, Lorena Garcia, Elizabeth Faulkner, um, Jet Tila. Just, I mean, I, I, the names, it's, it's bananas. We got these people. And to watch them just get undone by brownies. By, yeah. Like a mom making her brownies. And, of course, I think what's what's cool about the show is, like you said, the, the chefs don't know what they're doing until, you know, what is it, literally seconds before, correct? I'm not kidding you, and this is 100% truth. They walk down a walkway that's approximately 12, you know, 12 feet. <laughs> mm-hmm. We get those dramatic, ooh, I'm walking down at my competition shots. Yep. They turn around. I say, what are you going to make? We film that in real time, and she's like... I tell her some of the expertise, the chef's background. I interview him a little bit. Yep. He's like, I can make anything. I know Italian. I know French. He's like, well, if he knows French, I'm not going to do my pastry. I'm going to do my eggs benedict. Mm-hmm. You know what I 
I mean? Sure. And do something like that. And it's, that's exactly how it goes down. It, it, time-wise, it is, exa- I mean, minutes at, at best that they have to sort of, and, and in the kitchen, they are unfamiliar with. Now, of course, Adam, you're, 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 you're famous for, uh, for sampling food. I'm sure you get to sample a little bit on Food Fighters. What, what's been your, your, your favorite uh, handed-down recipe so far that's hit your palate, you think? Oh, my gosh. Uh, a great <laughs> chocolate chip cookie yep. from Kina PA. A uh, mac and cheese, like I said, from uh, Sergeant Coombs. Um, this um, Alicia Joyce is from Guam, and she made Mango Sing. I mean, there's so many. Oh, God. Melissa from the last episode, this, like, badass science teacher from Jersey made a uh, brownie with bacon glass. And <laughs> it's and it, what's also amazing is the stories. One woman, Courtney, she um, her, hus- her uh, son was autistic and would only eat white foods okay so she had to, she created a recipe solely de- uh like uh founded upon trying to create a nutritious flavorful thing with white foods for her for her son and it ended up it ended up being one of her competition dishes and i think that like that true ingenuity and that kind of brilliance getting recognized mm-hmm. and me getting to even stand within three feet of that that is so cool and the chefs are so gracious like if they win they don't gloat if they lose, they are so happy for these contestants that it doesn't have a bad bone in its body. And if you haven't seen it yet, th- this guy tonight is truly, he's a grandfather. Mm-hmm. He, made, he was in sportswear back in the day, and he kills it. Barbecue? You want to talk some barbecue? Yep. It's on. It's on <laughs> that- tonight. That's how- Kills it. Very, very cool. Food Fighters again on NBC uh, tonight at 8 o'clock. And uh, Ad- Adam, quickly, what, what's next for you after Food Fighters? Got anything down the pipe? I do. I have my very first cookbook uh, coming out. It's called Straight Up Tasty. Okay. Meals, memories, and mouthfuls from my travels is that little kind of like mm, subtitle thing. Uh huh. And but it's literally recipes that are inspired by stuff I've made combined with inspiration. So, so places I traveled while filming, places I travel while researching, the book I'm writing afterwards. But, uh, yeah, no, my, my cookbook is coming out, and it's literally like I'll take a recipe I tried in Providence. Mm-hmm. I'll combine it with a flavor I had, a stew in Croatia. Oh, well, there you and, go. And something that I was messing around with in my own kitchen. And it becomes this other thing, and it's, it's just really just good, big flavors, fun food, and, uh, and a couple little fun, like, sidebars in it. You know, where, to, where, where I love great burgers, great fries, sure. great date places, um, uh, fun food, movies, interesting food. In fact, I literally have the entire history of chocolate as we know it in a rhyming poem. I mean, it's, it's, it's a musical journey. It's, 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 I don't know, it's Lollapalooza for food. It's, it's going to be fun. And that and looks nothing like... Nothing else, it's a good coaster for two jumbo beverages. Well, there you go. It looks like it's due out in the spring of 2015. And Adam, I got to tell you, you know, I, when I, I was searching, I was putting you up on our, on our, you know, our, our website telling you people to listen to the interview. And, you know, I, I Googled pictures of Adam Richmond and I'll tell you what, I, 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 I'll never look at a soccer ball the same way again. I, I, I was, I oh think my God. I had to, it's scr- so weird when a dude tells you that. I, I had to scrub my eyes. I'm telling you. And then there was another I'm one. So Sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, and then there was Every another time one. I know a man sees it, I die a little. Yeah, I there, die a little. There's a picture of there. I saw another one that somebody had posted. Maybe you posted, you know, uh, sticking your head out of the shower with like a faux hawk. And I'm like, I, I can't use any oh, of these. You know what that is? <laughs> Andrew Zimmern is one of the coolest individuals yep. mankind's ever burst. And, uh, and he asked me to do something for his <laughs> special, his greatest hit special. <laughs> So he had a question. He was eating beaver in an episode. And he literally <laughs> That's not a bad thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, 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 by which I mean the, the water mammal. Right, right. <laughs> and, he was, and he was doing this grilled, and he actually uttered the phrase before he realized he came out of his mouth. I love eating beaver. Well, there you go. (laughs) Body eat beaver. And then it hit him. So I prefaced it by saying I filmed it off my iPad in my shower while doing the Ferris Bueller shampoo hawk. Yep, yep. And I just said, as a TV host, I understand that sometimes we have to be serious, even in the face of our own gas. And I said, and Andrew Zimmer is no, you know, like something like no slouch or something. Right. And I said, he was deadpan as he said. 
I like eating beaver. <laughs> well, there you go. But like I said, Ad, I'll, I'll never look at a soccer ball the same way again. And now people are, you know, Googling Adam Richmond photographs to see what I'm, uh, I'm talking about. But again, Food Fighters tonight at 8 o'clock on NBC. Adam, again, a second time on the show. We, we'd love to thank you again for being on and uh, always a pleasure. No, you're you're a, a great, great host, man. I love talking. To you. And I, I, I want you to do us a favor. We got to add you to the uh, the ninety nine Rock Wall of Fame. Can we do that quickly? So I just need you to say, you know, hi. This is Adam Richman. You're listening to ninety nine Rock. Go ahead. Absolutely. I'm rolling. I'm Go Adam ahead. Richman. Oh wait, you got, I, I stepped on you. Go ahead. I'm Adam Richman, and you are feasting your ears on ninety nine Rock. Dude, I love you, man. And uh, looking forward to talk to you again. Best of luck, of course, with the rest of Food Fighters. Best of luck with the book. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Can't wait, brother. All right. Thanks, man. See ya. Bye. All right. So there you go. Adam Richmond, of course. Uh, Food Fighters tonight. NBC.